Whether you're getting ready for Valentine's Day, a wedding, a baby shower, these hand-painted watercolor cookies are sure to make your friends and family swoon. Hey friends, what's up? Welcome. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we get creative together. We do watercolor painting, bullet journaling, illustration, and lots more. And today's video is kind of in the lots more category. We're going to be painting on cookies. I'm calling them watercolor cookies because it's so similar to painting with watercolors on paper. And if you've been practicing and doing a lot of painting along with my videos, then I think these cookies, they're gonna, you're gonna enjoy them so much because it really is like painting on the page. With that said, let's just get right into it. These are the perfect thing for Valentine's Day for any spring events like bridal and baby showers that might be coming up. Um, and yeah, I just really love doing it. <laughs> Okay, let's get my table set up and talk about what we're going to use today. You're going to need iced cut out cookies. So something like a gingerbread or sugar cookie that you frosted with royal icing. You'll need little bowls or jars for mixing up the paint. And a plate is nice to have a painting surface so you don't get paint on your table. Now let's talk about how we're going to mix up this edible watercolor paint. You'll need gel food coloring. So not the stuff you get at the grocery store that comes in the little like squeezy eyedropper type things. You need gel food coloring. And I'm using colors like pink and peach and ivory and green because I'm gonna paint pink flowers. Then we'll need a little bit of vodka, so some sort of clear alcohol. You can also use an extract. Now peppermint, I don't think that would be quite strong if you were gonna eat these, but if you turn it over, it says it's the main ingredient is alcohol, but the difference is you can buy it at the grocery store. So a clear extract or a little bit of vodka. Um, you'll need some stir sticks, and it's nice if you have something that you don't have to wash after. <laughs> and then you'll need some paint brushes. Buy them new or use ones that you only use for other food items. Okay, let's make some paint. I am grabbing a about a pea-sized amount of my peach colored food coloring, maybe a little less than a pea. <laughs> it's hard to get it out sometimes depending what you're using, but just try to get a little blob in the bowl and then try your best to put about an equal amount of vodka. So just a few drops of vodka and you can kind of tell from the consistency uh, you're going to want this to be liquidy and mix in as many of those little gel um, bits and blobs that remain. We'll mix up the green here. The color I'm using is juniper green. It's a really nice natural green and you just mix and mix and mix and if you need a little bit more vodka just place another few drops um, and, and it's simple as that. The vodka will actually evaporate on the cookie giving you this wonderful watercolor paint and once you've mixed up a few colors you know you're ready to start testing. So grab a cookie that maybe wasn't iced as nicely and we'll dip our paintbrush in our paint and we're just going to do some test painting on this cookie here. This will allow you to see the color. Do you like the way the green looks? I find mixing up the pinks and peaches especially, you want to test it because it can be quite bright. So get a little on the end of your brush and then to me that is so bright orange because of course these food colorings are meant to be mixed with white icing, not used like this. That's when it's nice to have a color like ivory. And so in the end, what I did is I mixed up some ivory and burgundy. I mixed a little ivory and rose, ivory and peach, and I managed to get some light, delicate pinks that I really liked. And then I'm using them in combination with that juniper green. So play around on your poorly iced cookie, test it out, and then you're ready to get started. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. I think I'll start with the green. 
I'm just gonna get a little bit in my brush there and it's just the same as it is on the paper. We've talked about this so much on this channel, just making these really fluid movements, you know, get a little extra pressure on that brush to make a little organic leaf shape. Use the very delicate tip of the brush to paint the tiny branches and stems and use the belly of that little tiny brush to make those leaf shapes. So it's, it's so, truly just like watercolor painting and that's why I love making videos about these cookies because if you have the watercolor skills on the paper on the page then you definitely can make these cookies and they're so impressive um, you can see there it looks just like watercolor you get some light areas some darker areas and we'll have a bit of fun making some little roses and some tiny flowers you can just do like little dots little spirals and and keep it quite simple you can kind of hint at the idea of flowers and leaves and because it's on a cookie like it's gonna look impressive you know you don't actually have to get too too technical here and, and I don't think you should I think that could look a little weird for a video about painting simple roses simply check the description below because I truly am using the same techniques as I would with my watercolor paints and paper so I'm gonna link a little simple florals video or a couple of them below and if you want more info about how I made my cookies, how I iced them, I have a much more in-depth watercolor cookies tutorial where I show you my lazy girl hack for royal icing and I give you my cookie recipe as well. So I'm going to link that video in the description. I'll put it in the comments too, just in case you can't find it. And uh, you can check that one out. It's a couple years old now, but these cookies, I've been making them for ages. I make them at Christmas and usually around Valentine's Day and one of the really nice things is that this royal icing is made with a, a an egg white and then when that dries it is like hard as a rock so even though these are edible if you're willing to eat um, egg whites without them being cooked although the sugar does cook them somewhat or cures them uh, then they you can call them edible, but they will also last for years. My mom has a tree ornament painted cookies that I made in 2017. They look as good as the day I made them. So you can actually keep these for a really long time if you want to. I think the nice thing um, as well is that they can also be really ephemeral and you can just chuck them in the compost <laughs> after a little while, or you can eat them of course. And if you're uncomfortable with the egg white, use, um, powdered egg white like meringue powder and if you're uncomfortable with the alcohol use uh, an extract although the alcohol does evaporate as the paint dries <laughs> last cookie design that I'm going to share is super approachable if you're just getting into floral painting just make these tiny little spirals and you can paint four or five on each cookie they make little cute little rosebuds and then all you have to do is paint a couple little green brush strokes surrounding them for leaves and it's as easy as that Happy Valentine's Day, my friends. I hope you'll give these cookies a try. Be sure to check out the other video for icing techniques and my favorite cookie recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video.